welcome to another episode of What to Expect When You're Expecting During COVID-19. I'm Ivy Hartman, and I am joined by Dr. Ebony January, a board-certified OBGYN, author, health guru, uh, and St. Louis area native to have answers through some of these tough questions that are lurking in the back of our minds uh, if we are pregnant during this pandemic. Now, Dr. January, we know that exercise and having a routine, exercise routine is good for all of us, but now that we're sheltering in place, what advice do you have for viewers who are pregnant? Should they exercise and what's considered safe for them to do? Absolutely exercise. Uh, during, after, before, Exercise is key. Many um, people think that there are certain things that they can't do um, or it, it's an excuse to eat poorly um, pregnancy. And that is not the case. It is the most important time to actually take care of yourself, especially if you're thinking about con conception. So many people ask after the fact, um, but when you talk about even preparation for pregnancy, you want to make sure that you ma you're maintaining a healthy weight, healthy eating regimen so that when you are faced with something like pregnancy and also faced with illness and viral illnesses and a pandemic that you are prepared. Um, I talk a lot about being proactive in our approach to healthcare and not reactive. So many times we're like, well, what to do and what if I'm going to get it? But the fact of the matter is we, we have to be, they say, stay ready so that you don't have to get ready, right? Same thing. So that is making sure prenatal vitamins, absolutely. But at the same time, vitamin C. Um, outside of pregnancy, I do recommend things like elderberry, but it's not being, you know, that's not something that you want to take during pregnancy. We don't know how pregnant women will respond to it. But vitamin C, I'm a huge proponent of vitamin D. More and more studies are showing the benefit of vitamin D as it pertains to your overall health, not just your bone health, but as it pertains to your overall health, heart disease, things like that. Um, those are so many things that you, you that you can do. Turmeric, turmeric is something that we see. A, it's you know one of the main ingredients in in curry, right? And so that's it's an anti um, anti inflammatory, anti cancer, antioxidant. Berries, same thing. Avocado, salmon, salmon is huge uh, with anti cancer benefits, antioxidants. Um, many and then the thing about salmon is it helps with the brain development of a baby. Um, so there's wow. so many different things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a lot. So where do you, where, where could, where could our get more information um, about healthy choices and that it pertains to eating or exercise from you? My, I, I have a, a pro weight loss program that I actually developed in response to my patients, which is called Text Fit, and essentially getting workouts, health tips straight to your phone. Um, I have a social media page. My Instagram is TextFit, but I go over these things to be realistic for people who are professionals, people who are balancing a, a, a lot of things. I wanted it to be things that you can do in the home. Like I see, you know, you have your treadmill and, you know, <laughs> your punching bag back there, which is how, what I have in my home too. But there's so many things, even if you don't have that, resistance bands. You know, I can do so many different things with resistance bands. I can work my legs. I can work my upper body. That's something that I, I put on my page, my text fit page, on my Dr. Ebony January page. Things that are realistic, don't require a lot. Things that you can get the kids involved in as well. Using a chair to do dips to work out your arms. Using the small couch behind me, this couch I actually use, uh, use it to do squats. Um, and then I have something here, a mop bucket. I actually can use this, put things in it to do squats, things that you use every day, even water bottles. Water bottles, if you have two of these, you can actually do curls to work the arms. There's so you many know, different things, lateral I, raises. I think know? about um, having kids at home, and if I've already got young ones and I'm pregnant, I remember carrying gallons of milk in. And <laughs> And at one point, just doing lifts with my gallons of milk. Uh, we know too that you know you're limited after you deliver too, and sometimes depending on uh, recovery, you know, in terms of lifting heavy things right afterwards. But it's good to get back into that routine. So let me transition into this. Uh, you know, as we kind of segue out of the pandemic uh, later, um, and more of the shelter in places are lifted, um, do you have ideas of places that pregnant women should avoid or might be okay to go that are healthy places, you know, like the gym or the park or things like that? So I do recommend definitely the park, right? Because then you're, you're still limiting your exposure to other individuals. Um, it's funny because before they actually 
uh, start closing down businesses. Um, and COVID virus was just, oh, we, you know, this is something that is, is coming, coming around and we need to be mindful of it. Before they started shutting things down, I did a video on Instagram about the gym. I had just left the gym and I said, hey, you know, I was at the gym and I thought about something, you know, this is a place where diseases can be spread. And I tell people, wipe machines down before and after, make sure they're dry because diseases and viruses kind of live in wet environments. So make sure that they, that they are dry. And a week later, they shut the gym down. Right. Did I, I think they're a petri <laughs> dish. I think that we think about schools and gyms being there. Doctor, this has been great information. We'll definitely have more information about how you can follow a good doctor here at the end of our episode. But keep in mind that all these episodes um, are aimed at helping you feel more comfortable during a pandemic, if you're expecting. Um, and also that you can see all of our episodes here on STL TV's channel, YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and follow STL TV on Twitter as well. So coming up in our last episode that um, we're going to be looking at changes that you might want to consider about your delivery or birthing plan. And as we close out, on behalf of Dr. January and myself, we ask that you be well. Thank you.